Well, hello and welcome back to PT9, where we bring you two absolutely outstanding dance players in Razmataz, the Latvian medals, Razma, and the Finn, Kim Viljanen. As it currently stands, Viljanen is fourth in the Nordic and Baltic Order of Merit. Razma is eighth. Viljanen has 2,650 2, points. Sorry, Kim has 2,650 points. And will win either 1,200, 600, or 300 additional points, depending on where he places. But I'll just in the same boat. 1,575 points. 1,200 if he wins it. 600 if he's the runner-up, 300 if he loses here. So we'll do a few more permutations once this game is settled. Well, it does look like Labanowskis' reign at the top of the table is still okay, but only just. As we see the first 180 for Kim okay. Vilyanen, who leads himself 67. Treble 17. Well, 65. Um, out of ball or treble for 15 for the bullseye. 15 bullseye is the right move because you guarantee yourself a shot at double. It's not the nicest double in the world, but it's a double. And when you hit it, it is the nicest double in the world. This might go 25. So Razma has one dart at double top. Another dart at double top. He had two darts and cannot... Find it. Some disappointment there for Rasma. So Viljanen wants to take advantage of that missed double top. One dart. And do you fancy Rasma to miss three more? I don't. The same Rasma who reached the final of the PTC Players Championship event. Just last week, and he gets it first start of asking. And that was also a break of throw, so Liliana won't be best pleased about that. It is still early days. Well, have a look at this. How about that, Madaz? But not a bad way to react to a ton 80. He arches his back a little as he throws. He was hot on the BDO circuit and he's just starting to make inroads on the PDC circuit as well. Both players are in very similar colour, some sort of claret colour, clarity reddish. And back-to-back -back time 40s for Viljanen, which means Rasmus is going to need a big score here. We'll need a treble at least. You know what that leaves, don't you? That leaves something I'm sure he's more than capable of doing, and I'm sure he's hit at numerous points in his career. Viljanen can just assume that the Rasmus is not going to hit it and pin in 100. Well... If anyone can, Maddox can, but Maddox can't. But yes, that is in the in the bullseye. It's 70 scored, so treble 20. Can Kim get this? Treble 17. Leaves the bit that Maddox hit in the previous leg, in the previous visit, should I say, and Kim cannot find the bullseye. We'll get one shot. He wanted that treble. He wanted two at tens, but he's going to get one at tops. He's blocked the bed by the looks of things. Moves across. And no, it blocks too much of the bed. So Kim Villianen should get two darts at double eight to break straight back. And does exactly that. Oh, this is exciting. 
<coughs> Average is 95 and 93. A little bit like the Julian and Labanskas game. But when these two are on fire, they produce fireworks. And only 43 from Viljanen. Rasma taking full advantage of that. Well, they look disappointed with 100. It's okay. It's okay. Asma should be on something after these three darts. We'll be on something. Be on something relatively useful. If memory serves me correctly, Viljan and missed the bullseye. 4 1 2 1, but then took out the 25. Can Rasma go one better? Yes. Yes, he can. 25 for double 18 in some style as well. And he looks a little confused. I wouldn't be confused. 11 for Bullseye is the regular shot. But 25 for double 18 becoming more and more common. I don't think it's a bad way to go. What are the chances of hitting the Bullseye? <laughs> After the 11, <laughs> you're more likely to hit the 25. So it could bite you in the bum. In this case, on occasion, it certainly didn't, as Rasma takes one lead. And three consecutive breaks of throw. And of course, Viljana will to make that four. Well, if you want to have a look at the setup of the board today and the Live Darts Iceland board surround, just go to the Live Darts Iceland Facebook page, which you may well be watching this on. And have a look at the picture that Matty uploaded this morning. Rasma looks to pile on. Unlucky bounce out. Probably was going in the 20s. In the single 20. And what's he going to leave after these three? You tell me. Could have been 60. It wouldn't have surprised me if it was 60. Instead, the answer is nothing. I see use of the bullseye potentially here. And that's exactly what we see. And we could see use of the bullseye in with the next fit as well for Madars. However, Kim Vil Yarnan. Next one, three, three. Leaves one, two, two. Bullseye or treble 17. He's playing well. He could hit the treble 17. Instead, he's gone bullseye. Single one. Well, hang on. It's double 18. He said it's almost like usually you'd see bullseye one for double 18. He hit the five, but he stopped as if to say, hang on a sec, what's going on there? He meant it, and he hit double 18 in the last leg. And will Villan and hit the bullseye in this leg? No, he will not. He hits the single 20. 
March to the relief of Madars. I think that's a single 20 anyway. So it is. So double nine. Of course. Well, I thought he'd miscounted and gone for double ten. Double ten's been hit twice. Imagine, double ten's been hit back to back twice by two people who didn't need double ten. Viljanen breaks again on double five. Madars was on 18. He knew he had 18. He aimed for single 10 to leave eight, double four. Why is going anywhere into that double? I do not know. It did confuse me a little. I thought the score, by, score may have been wrong, but it certainly wasn't. And Viljanen punishes the first major mistake that Madars Rasma has to make. What does Madars Rasma think of that? I think we all know. He fires it. Another ton. 80. This is some top quality tungsten, let me tell you. Oh, Madars. Madars, Madars. That was probably going to be in as well. And I would have been sitting on the edge of my seat because when he's on form like this, he is more than capable of hitting anything he wants. We're still on for a Phantom 9 data, which doesn't quite count. We're still on for a Phantom 9 data. Triple 19! And maybe that's made me feel a little better, because maybe he wouldn't have got the 19 on the last leg. And this would be for another break of throw. Well, Kim is on a finish himself, but Rasma for an 11 dart leg. That's in the treble, 32. And that is an 11 dart leg. Beautiful stuff there from the Latvian. As we have yet to see a hold of throw. And Kim is playing well, might I add. Out of five legs to get two against... <laughs> That was Rasmus who's throwing like this. But do you get the impression that Madar might be wearing him down? Well, evidently not, as Kim Villian is just doing what Kim Villian does. But whilst Rasmus playing like this with this confidence and this flow. He could beat anyone. And this is the sort of form that saw him reach the Championship 19 final. And will no doubt be featuring in the PDC Players Championship in Minehead, which is the last major tournament prior to Ali Pali. But I'd say Rasmer is certainly one to watch at Ali Pali and of course as over the course of next year. 120 scored, leaves him with double eight. Just heard him confirm it because the trebles were close to the wire, but they were certainly in. We'll be back. And Viljana might leave something useful here. He certainly will indeed. As well then, three darts. Yeah. And he uses the double two and holds throw for, a, for the first time. In this match, in fact, the first hold of throw. Kim Villana will be hoping that he can do the same thing in holding throw. As Razor is averaging 
a ton here in Iceland. This is dance in its element at its best, in its purest form. Very, very lucky to have the privilege of commentating on this one, and we are all very lucky to be seeing what goes on usually behind closed doors. Or oh, Razma disappointed with his last dart. Didn't get a treble 20. Criminal, says Razma. Well, uh, th nicely thrown darts. He knows he can do a little better than that. And that's two visits without a treble 20. So it's Kim who will be down to something first and looking to hold his throw. This is effectively, if Kim does hold his throw, it's going to be mirror image darts. Break, break. Break, break. Hold, hold. Well, I do sense a little bit of resignation, resignation of this leg because Razuma will not be checking out. He won't be checking out anything as Kim Viljanen gets a lovely 93 in two darts. As the mirror area, the mirror image continues. We'll need to break Madar's Razuma again. And well, that's three scoring visits for Madars without a treble, which is very unlike him. And this is looking good. And that is punishment. As good as punishment can get. Needs one of his own. He gets a 171, which is as good. I think Razma plays well when the opponent plays well. A lot of our players do his confidence thing. You know, if V can do it, well, so can I. Madars has been relentless. Should name change his nickname to Relentless Razma. Certainly the best match I've had the pleasure of commentating on at Live Arts Iceland. And Bill Yannan, Labanowskis, a close second. Madars looks to fill up the treble 19 bed and does so to perfection. Okay. 18 for tops. Will he go? No, 18 for tops is conventional. Yeah, 18 for tops is what he gets. Another fist pump. And you do know what that means, don't you? That means mm. Madars Razma 5. Kim Milian and 3. It's a hold of throw. And Madars is just 501 points. His place in the final. Boy. Against Magnus Karis. Of course, Madars won the first European Tour qualifier. Hildesheim, is it? I think the second is Leverkusen, and I think the third is Munich. We'll be seeing Razmataz. Playing in Europe. Razma, by the way, does hold a PDC tour card. But I'm sure he enjoys playing in these events where you have to be a national um, of the Nordic and Baltic area. We've seen the Faroe Islands compete and do themselves very proud as well in Jan McIntosh. And we've seen Latvia compete as well. And Latvia is doing very well. This is the third event of our weekend, and if Razma does go on to win it, he will have won two out of the three.
Let's have a look at these averages. And you cannot tell me that all good darts is on telly. Lots of it is. And you've stumbled across this hidden gem. In the most northerly capital on planet Earth. It should go for this. It should go for it. Two trouble twenties for double five. One of them. Another. Leaves the bullseye. He's got a nice rhythm to him, does Rasma. You know, doesn't, doesn't stop and wait. Rob Cross would have taken a step back. And that's his style. And it seems to work very well. He only went and won a world championship on it. 140, two treble 18s for the double 16. Took a step back. Bang, straight in there. Rasma, rather quite the opposite. 17, double four. To win this competition. <laughs> 